Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor, a cutting-edge radar system developed to revolutionize air and missile defense for the United States Army. Packed with advanced technology, 360-degree coverage, and unmatched tracking capabilities to counter modern aerial threats, and whether you're a defense tech enthusiast, a military strategy buff, or just curious about the future of battlefield protection, you're in for an explosive episode filled with every detail about this game-changing system. So buckle up and get ready for the ultimate deep dive into everything that makes the lower tier air and missile defense sensor the backbone of next generation air defense. Developed by Raytheon, an RTX business, the Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor, often referred to as LTAMDs, is designed to replace the aging Patriot radar with its first prototype contract awarded in 2019, achieving Milestone C designation in April 2025, marking its transition from prototype to production, and it's now a program of record for the United States Army with Poland as its first international customer, ordering 12 units in 2024. Let's break down its design. The lower tier air and missile defense sensor is a highly advanced gallium nitride-based active electronically scanned array radar featuring three fixed antenna arrays, one primary and two secondary, providing full 360 degree coverage, a significant upgrade over the Patriot's 120 degree field of view and it's powered by the large tactical power source, which enables the radar to reach its maximum battle space potential, detecting and tracking threats at ranges up to 300 kilometers and altitudes up to 300 kilometers, a substantial improvement over the legacy radar's 85 kilometer range and its modular open systems architecture ensures compatibility with the integrated battle command system allowing seamless integration with Patriot Advanced Capability 3 missile segment enhancement interceptors and other air defense assets, and the radar's design supports tracking a wide range of threats, including ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, hypersonic missiles, advanced aircraft, and drones, with the ability to handle complex coordinated attacks, and it's built for rugged environments, undergoing extensive testing against wind, rain, dust, and road marches, accumulating approximately 10,000 hours of testing by 2025. The Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor's role in the United States Army is critical, serving as the cornerstone of the integrated air and missile defense architecture. Designed to protect troops and assets from sophisticated aerial threats in contested environments, and its capabilities shine in multiple scenarios. For missile defense, it detects and tracks ballistic and cruise missiles, guiding interceptors with precision. For air defense, it counters advanced aircraft and drones, ensuring airspace dominance. And for networked operations, its integration with the Integrated Battle Command System enables real-time data sharing across units, enhancing situational awareness, and its 360-degree coverage eliminates blind spots, making it ideal for defending key assets like command posts or forward bases. And the radar's high resolution and sensitivity allow it to classify threats accurately, even in cluttered environments, while its mobility supports rapid deployment, with two prototype units already slated for testing in Guam by 2025 to bolster Pacific defenses. Operationally, the Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor has excelled in testing, completing nine successful flight tests by August 2025, with a notable milestone on August 18, 2025 at White Sands Missile Range, where it used a secondary array to track and intercept a complex threat representative target marking the first integration with the large tactical power source and the first use of low-rate initial production hardware for the integrated battle command system, and it has demonstrated capabilities against tactical ballistic missiles, air-breathing threats, and drones, passing rigorous environmental and mobility tests, and the United States Army plans to produce 10 radars in the initial low-rate production phase, with a goal of 94 units over the program's life, though production takes approximately 40 months per unit, with efforts underway to reduce this to 36 months, and international interest is strong, with over a dozen countries requesting briefings and social media posts highlight its strategic importance, with users praising its 360-degree capability, though some unverified claims about specific range enhancements should be approached cautiously, and the radar's cost, estimated at $125 to $130 million per unit, is competitive with the legacy, 
Patriot Radar's $110 to $115 million, with potential for cost reduction as production scales. Culturally, the lower-tier air and missile defense sensor represents a leap in air defense technology, featured in defense media as a symbol of modern warfare's evolution, and its success in tests has bolstered confidence in its ability to counter emerging threats like hypersonic missiles. And looking to the future, its digital, software-driven design allows upgrades like enhanced algorithms for threat classification, integration with directed energy weapons, or compatibility with future interceptors ensuring relevance through the 2030s, and potential applications include linking with unmanned systems for expanded coverage or using artificial intelligence to process complex threat data, making it a cornerstone for layered defense strategies. So, there you have it, fans. This is the ultimate deep dive into the lower-tier air and missile defense sensor, the United States Army's next-generation radar powerhouse. We want to hear from you. What's your favorite feature? The 360-degree coverage, the hypersonic tracking capability, or its networked integration? Is it the key to modern air defense, or are there other systems to consider? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Smash that like button if you loved this deep dive. Subscribe for more epic military breakdowns, share with your fellow defense enthusiasts, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload, because we've got more high-tech content coming your way. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.